Okay. Number one, leave food at room temperature for only f very short periods of time. Right? The max time you should leave food out at room temperature is two hours. Check food's internal temperature det to determine if it has been cooked long enough to kill bacteria. Right? The internal temperature of is the temperature deep inside the thickest part of the food. Defrost food at room temperature allows for bacteria to grow. So you want to make sure that if you are defrosting food, that you either defrost it in the refrigerator or you can also use a microwave. But do not leave it out on the counter at room temperature. Keep hot foods hot and cold foods cold when you are serving. So if you notice when you're at a buffet that if it's a hot food, that they have hot lamps to make sure that that food remains hot. If it's cold food, they make sure that there is ice or some kind of refrigeration around that food to keep it cold. How do you know when meat and poultry have been cooked thoroughly enough to kill bacteria? You have to check its internal temperature. Right? On this temperature scale, right, we have what we call the danger zone. That danger zone is from 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Right? When you leave food out at between those two temperatures, right, that's when bacteria can grow the most. Right? So what, when you need to, make sure you refrigerate your foods, which should be below 40 degrees, um, or you can put them also in the, ref in the freezer, which is at zero degrees. Um, However, um, when you go to cook foods, right, you want to make sure that they are above 140. So those hot foods that I was talking about at the buffet, right, those foods need to maintain a temperature of 140. Right. However, depending on what kind of meat or poultry you are cooking will determine what the temperature of the internal temperature of that food should be. If you're making beef steaks or cooking beef steaks, roast, veal, lamb, seafood, those kinds of things, if you want it medium rare, the, the lowest temperature it can be at is 145 degrees. So you could take a thermometer and stick it into the thickest part of the meat um, and it needs to register a minimum of 145 degrees. Right. For meats um, and egg dishes, pork and ground meats, Right? or meats that are at medium temperature, it needs to be at 160. Right? Stuffing, ground poultry, leftovers, casseroles, those kinds of things should be at 165 degrees internal temperature. Poultry breast should be at 170. And then a whole poultry, like a whole chicken or a whole turkey, should register 180. Right? You'll notice that it said stuffing. That's the stuffing if you're putting it inside the bird. Right? If you, for Thanksgiving, make a turkey and you put stuffing inside that turkey, you need to make sure that that stuffing registers 165 because it has raw turkey juice on it and in it. You need to make sure that it is safe to eat.